Good morning, everyone. I'm Grimith, and welcome to a setup video. Also, welcome to Beakers Anonymous. This is Sid Meier Civilization V, my first recorded playthrough of a non scenario. I have a long sordid history with Civ V. I won't delve into specifics in this video. Uh, it has been covered in several other videos, both on my channel and on J Squared John Jeremy's channel. Uh, I'm going to try to leave the past behind me. At least for the setup video. I'll probably get more into nuts and bolts of game mechanics as I'm actually playing through it here. So, the objective of this playthrough is to, uh, well, help the AI as much as I can. The default AI, unmodded. Uh, as such, I have uh, done some research into the AI guts and uh, found the AIs who are the heaviest weighted towards science. That is Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, who has a very powerful, unique ability. Uh, Catherine of Russia, who uh, does like to go for spaceship victories. Uh, she is rather deceptive, and she does end up building powerful military. Powerful militaries. Uh, Pakal, who uh, is really weighted towards religion, uh, but he can still research quite a bit. Sejong of Korea, uh, one of the few AIs I've seen regularly pick rationalism. Uh, and an AI on rationalism is like the Cylons and Master of Orion. Uh, Sei Zhang also possesses uh, not just a powerful, unique ability, but two powerful, unique units as well. Uh, we have China in the game. She is incredibly deceptive. Uh, she is an absolute bitch. Uh, and she does have the power of science at her disposal as well. Uh, Boudicca and Napoleon are among uh, several AIs uh, who have science waiting at the same level of seven. Uh, there's uh, Gustavus of Sweden, uh, Bismarck, uh, Harun al-Rashid, uh, Assyria is there. Uh, I wanted Boudicca and Napoleon to uh, add some military threat uh, in the game. Uh, Wu, Wu and uh, Catherine also possess that. Uh, Boudicca also adds a bit of extra religious waiting. Uh, Napoleon's just a jerk. He is a bona fide jerk. I've also had Bismarck and Gustavus in too many of my games. Uh, I will be playing as Elizabeth. Uh, I've decided to give myself some form of advantage in what I hope will be a challenge uh, in this Beaker's Anonymous playthrough. Uh, Elizabeth, and we'll go ahead and review England here. Uh, the unique ability will be plus two movement for all naval units and receive one extra spy. That one extra spy is going to be my primary advantage against a series of AIs who are the most predisposed to researching. I will also be playing an archipelago map so that I may enjoy the rest of the unique ability. Uh, England has two unique units, a longbowman, a crossbowman replacement with extra range so that you can outreach city bombardment. Pretty useful. That means you can really go straight for logistics with these. And a ship of the line, which is a superior frigate, uh, which makes uh, Renaissance era combat really nice uh, for her. More nice than what you would normally enjoy with frigates. And an archipelago map means that we will be seeing good use out of these ships of the line, I hope. Now, uh, Sejong of Korea also has some nifty naval powers as well. His turtle ship kicks ass. Uh, and for those of you unfamiliar with Civilization V gameplay, <sighs> this really isn't the best series to watch to become familiar with it. I'll be playing on Difficulty Difficulty. Archipelago map, I've tooled around with it a little bit. No city-states. I don't want to play with any city-states in this playthrough. I usually do play with them, if only because that's really how the game is designed. Like how the game is also designed to take advantage of these damn goody huts. And I'm throwing those out, too, right under the bus. There will be barbarians, uh, quick combat, and quick movement. Now, uh, as noted, this was just a setup video. Uh, God forbid I subject you all to the old man and his little introductoring. So, uh, I'll end this little clip here. And uh, then, next video, I'll see you all for the start of Beakers Anonymous. Make sure you... You know, come and stay for the free food and the camaraderie. Ah, we'll be fine.